In today's tutorial, I will show you how to host a website completely for free using Vercel. To get started, the first thing we need to do is to create an account, which we can do by clicking the sign up button here. Then follow the on-screen prompts to continue creating your account. I will just click on hobby and then type in my name and hit continue. Here, you can select any of the options. I will just be using GitHub since that's the easiest option for me. So I will click on continue with GitHub. Fill out your GitHub info, then click sign in. Vercel will ask for some permissions, just read through them and then click authorize Vercel. I have two factor enabled, so I will just enter my phone number and hit continue. Then I will type in my code. Once you're signed in, it should look something like this. And in the top left, you can now see your GitHub username. If you haven't already, upload your website or web app to a repo on your GitHub profile. I already have mine set up and it's just a very basic website. Once you have done that, we can go back to Vercel and click this drop down here and click on add GitHub account. Vercel will now ask for permission to have access to all your repos or so only to select repos. I will just do all repos for right now and just click install. You should now see a list of all your projects if you selected all repos and if you only selected select repos, you should only see the repos that you selected. Click on the import button for the project that you want to host on Vercel. Depending on the type of web app or website that you're trying to host, just click on the framework preset option here. But since mine just a very basic index.html file, I can just leave it as other and just leave all the other settings as a default value and then click deploy. Now I will just wait for this process to finish. If everything went right, you should now see something similar to this where you see a preview of your website as well as these other options that you can do here. Click on continue to dashboard. And if you actually want to see the website, you can click on the visit button here. And now you should see your website being hosted at this specific domain. If you want to set up your own custom domain, instead of using the temporary Verso domain that is seen here, I have a video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to connect your own custom domain. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.